it is very early in the morning and I'm in the garden drinking my green juice. Well, it was green until I put a beetroot in it. Um, saying goodbye to all of my vegetable babies. We are leaving now to get on a plane and go to Italy, but our first stop is Glasgow before we get there. So yeah, I'm gutted. We've spent so much time nurturing all of the plants, but we've had a good harvest when we've been here and the rest will be for the neighbors and my mum and whoever else is passing by. So yeah, look at the cucumbers growing. I also need to say goodbye to Tommy, which is going to be harder. Um, but yeah, need to get going. This is breaking my heart. Tommy! Let's put him in the suitcase. I want to take him with us. Bye, Tommy. Bye. We love you. I love you. Yes, and he said love you too. Be a good boy. You're gonna be a good boy. I've got hair all over my face. I've got it in my mouth. Nice. Right, come on. Bye, Tommy. years but our hairdresser says seven years uh, it's been a long, years a long time and I don't know anyone cut my hair apart from Russell I have serious trust issues <laughs> so we are just waiting to go in but in the meantime we are having a hot chocolate and oat milk for breakfast nearby along with a vegan chocolate fruit and nut flapjack how amazing does that look I'm just dropping it everywhere so the next time you'll see us, we will have near hair. Near hair. Near hair. That's Scottish. I wanted to donate mine. No hair. They wanted too much. So Stefania is cutting her hair to like here. So short, short. A lot is coming off, and I'm getting the smallest amount cut because I'm a baby. You're literally gonna get nothing. So we're just gonna drink this up and then we're gonna go. It looks like my hair's already been washed, it's so greasy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally having the time of my life. Say bye. 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 Just out of the hairdressers. <gasps> Look at Stella's oh, so It looks so nice. Turn I around. love it. Turn around. It looks so lovely. I'm so happy it's short again. Lovely. It's so oh, nice. Yours looks lovely. And mine, I just got a small trim, but it just feels full. Like a tiny trim. <laughs> and bouncy. Love and it. Clean. So now we are just going to go off and have a nice day in Glasgow, reminiscing about when we were young. I love my haircut. Seriously, guys, if any of you live in Glasgow, be sure to come to Russell Cowie. He's on Dumbarton Road. Yeah. He's, He's just the best. amazing. Literally. Amazing. Magic hands. Yeah.
waiting for everybody to finish getting ready. I don't know why I'm already ready. It's probably because I've had my hair like this all day and I've done nothing to it, looking a bit crazy. And I've put very little makeup on, but you know on holiday, you just have that whole, I can't be bothered vibe. And everyone else kind of has it, so it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just standing back waiting, but I thought I'd just take the moment to tell you guys about where we're going later. We go into this restaurant and basically, um, you call ahead and tell them your dietary requirements. So I honestly thought that telling them that we were plant-based or vegan um, would still be a bit of a problem, but it actually wasn't. Um, and they're like, yeah, it's totally cool. And it's one of those restaurants where you get plate upon plate. So they just keep bringing up little dishes. So I'm really, really excited just to have loads of different kinds of plant-based food in Italy, let me just say. So yeah, we're really excited and I will obviously take you guys with us and show you what they give us. The weather's been a little bit bad. We had a thunderstorm today and there's meant to be one tomorrow, but that will be it. After that, it's smooth sailing, nice and sunny weather. So yeah, feeling a little bit tired after London and traveling and being busy before we came. So yeah, just enjoying this chilled out vibe of Italy. So we've just been told, oh, my mask is on wonky and actually the wrong way around. I'll change it once I finish this, but we've just had word that from now on in Italy, you need to wear a mask from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Right. No matter where you are, obviously you don't have to wear it in a restaurant, but anywhere else you have to wear it. So this is us in our masks, having a walk is so beautiful. Look, we're just about to walk on the pier. It's close to where that restaurant is that I was telling you guys about. We're just having a little bit of a walk here by the beach first. Um, working up an appetite. <laughs> Although My I don't really need one. Already. I'm quite hungry. I'm hungry. We are already up, it's very early, it's seven o'clock, but we have to be up early because we like to run up and down a hill here. Um, and you don't want it to be too hot when you do it because it'll be very uncomfortable. But basically we walk up and down it five times and then we run up and down it five times. I'll show you it. Um, Steph's here too. I just walk. Steph just walks. No, she doesn't, she does a good job. But yeah, I'm gonna flip you round so you can see. 
So this is the top of the hill. And then if I walk around here, you'll see it wraps around here. And then it goes all the way down to those gates. So walk up and down five times and then we run up and down five times and we better get going because already the sun is coming out and then it makes it a hell of a lot harder. You ready? Yeah, I'm at the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get difficult and now I'm fine. And hot. Cool. Oh. Oh. A lot. Let's so it's got the wrong trainers on. Let's no it. Yeah, still cool. Yeah, yeah. We look well cool. I'm still cool. Cool as a cucumber. I'm still, I'm still cool. We haven't done any exercise like that in so long. I think it's time for breakfast. I'm starving. Yeah. I know. So we're going to go have our lemon and water, green juice, and we got this nice granola, this organic mm. bio. I love that. Look, sugar free granola. So we're going to go have that. I'm going to go and wipe this sweat off my head. Oh, And then. We're jumping in the pool. Oh, so grateful. Shower first. So grateful yeah. for the pool. We're in Nooka Centre today and it's another beautiful day here and we thought we would take you guys along to show you where we go, the spots that we go to get our little vegan treats when we're here. They're not like proper vegan places like full on restaurants but there's vegan options within each of these places so we thought we'd take you guys along with us. Very excited. Excited to eat. I know I'm starving. I think we're going to start with a vegan cornetto, so a vegan croissant. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. You don't know what I said to you. Vegan croissant, but there's someone singing. Can you hear? Yeah, I know, it's around there. That's so nice. Yeah, you said vegan croissant. I hear when it's to do with food, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have found the place that we get our vegan croissants from we actually just stumbled across it pretty quickly so we're happy because we are hungry Steph's already in the queue oh my god there's a wasp on my hand You got them. Got them. Two left. Um, Lovely. So got one each. See, they knew we were coming. It's still warm. <laughs> Forever grateful when there's a place in Italy that does vegan croissants because it's very rare. This one actually has <laughs> has um. What did you say? Sesame seeds and sesame poppy seeds, seeds, seeds on them. So good. So good. I wish we could try it. 
guys this is so so good usually i don't like croissants not that i don't like but i don't i prefer not to have the ones that have nothing in them but this one tastes so good it doesn't even matter just walking up to the top of the walls so you can walk on the walls and around the whole of the city centre and you can actually rent bikes which we've done a few times, which we've done a few times. we're going to try and do today um, and cycle the whole way around which is so nice we're on the top of the walls now so you can see over on this side is outside the walls so you can see like the roads and the traffic out there and then on this side you can see inside the walls so 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 pretty and then this just literally like circles around such a lovely walk or cycle <laughs> or run Everyone knows how good it is. There's the biggest queue, but I'm not surprised because this literally is the best place that makes chickpea bread. It's insanely good. So we're gonna wait in this queue, we don't mind. I'll wait. It is hot, but thankfully we're in the shade. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. There is one place that we know of in Luka that is a vegan sort of restaurant and it's this place here. It's called... I'll take you over. Look, Stefania's already getting a seat. She doesn't waste any time. What is she doing? Vegan Steph. Thanks, Steph. I know where you are. So this place is called Nanda's 100% Vegetale Vegan Burgers and Cakes. And there are a selection of burgers, vegan burgers, 
and then dishes of the day. And this is where we're gonna have some lunch. It's because whenever Stefania and I get anything, it's always half. Like we can never finish a full plate of anything ever. So yeah, so we have half a burger. My one's falling apart. But this one's called the Rustico and it's got a plant burger. It's got aubergine, vegan cheese, tomato. Oh, oh, my tomatoes are falling out. Um, salad. And it looks really really yummy oh actually i'll show you stefania's because her just looks really neat in comparison to mine there you go that will be a joy to eat stefania <laughs> while i have to put yours back together put mine back together somehow mm -hmm. plus if you get half you can get other things as well yeah also that's why we get yeah. half is because then you can have other things throughout the day or even in, in that meal so if we want a bit of cake or something we'll be able to fit it without mm. feeling stuffed so now we're just going to sit, enjoy this amazing view and our vegan burger. delicious guys I'm actually really surprised I don't know why but it's really sweet it's a lady by herself and she's very laid back she's very chill there's no rushing here she makes your food in her little kitchen it's really cute um, but it was really nice there's loads of you probably saw before there's loads of burger choices on the menu um, and then she does some other stuff like lasagna and gnocchi and stuff like that so yeah really good but i am so full the amount i've eaten today but it's to show you guys obviously <laughs> so we always um whenever we come into look we make sure we have all our favorite bits because at home we eat really well so um yeah i think a bit more walking around now work off all this food a bubble tea we are obsessed with bubble teas and we always come to this place called boba whenever we order bubble tea we make sure that there's no sugar because they can be quite sugary and it's always white refined sugar and no syrups so this place in particular we get green tea with matcha powder and a squirt of honey and that's it and they do it and it's really delicious so yeah after a hot day of walking around and eating and everything else we love to get a bubble tea and um, we're going to grab one of these and then we're going to head home 